Howdy everyone, we are covering how I built this table in just a little bit over five years. Um, it all started back in 2013 when my cousin and I were sitting around the campfire at my family's property just outside the little town of Covalo, California. And we were, of course, uh, enjoying ourselves and thinking, hey, we should someday cut down some tree and make something with the wood. This was a popular co topic of conversation that we mulled over for, well, let's just say probably measured in decades. But we had a tree down up behind our cabin, so we walked up and mulled it over. Then we spent the remainder of the evening contemplating how much can our bulldozer lift. If we chain the blade to the tree and then cut the tree, is that safe? These were the hard pressing questions we didn't know the answers to, but we just went ahead and did it anyways. Maybe not our smartest move, but hey, a John Deere 450 bulldozer can lift up a 30 inch diameter tan oak, 10 feet long. It worked. We ultimately deposited on the back of a 10,000 pound trailer. Once again, we really don't know how much this tree weighs, so let's hope we didn't overload the trailer. And we hauled it off to a neighbor who could mill it into slabs for us. We knew it would need to be dried, and uh, one inch per year was what we had heard. So being they were two and a half inches thick, we figured we needed about three years of dry time. So we went off and did other things. Oh, about 2015, we decided to find some room in our barn and we moved it inside where it sat for another year or so. And then about in late 2016, I loaded it up on the truck and brought it home and took it into my high school wood shop class where I teach, where it kind of worked on and off again for the next year and a half. The wood cupped pretty badly, so I wasn't going to be able to just do two book batch slabs. I was going to have to break it into four thick boards, which is what I did. Ultimately, I glued it together with some dowel pins and then filled it some of the major voids with epoxy. Once it was all glued up, I knew it needed to get flat. Fortunately, uh, the neighboring high school has a big CNC router, and he let me bring it over and helped me mill it into two perfectly flat sides. I knew I wanted some wine glass shaped legs that were going to be a glue lamb of steel on each side with a solid oak core. So I went ahead and drew this up in fusion. And then the first step was to make sure that the legs were the right size, that they were going to work with the table. I had the tabletop at home, so I went ahead and used a laser and cut out kind of a mock-up and set that up to make sure the legs were going to work. It was now the fall of 2018, and we were going to host Christmas dinner at our house this year. And I needed to get going, so I went ahead and ordered the steel. I had a local steel manufacturer laser out my design. And while waiting for the legs to come, I went ahead and started sanding. The top needed a lot of sanding work. Um, I started with a belt sander, which... While it worked out okay, put a lot of ripples in the top. So then I went back and used the old uh, auto body and fender classic of cross sanding with really coarse sandpaper. And then once I got that done, I went into palm sanding with 80 grit, then 100, 120. Um, I got really bored of sanding with one palm sander and I have two. So I broke out the second one and did some dual action. I'm not sure that was really more efficient, but it felt a lot more efficient. Um, sanding took quite a bit of time, um, moving up through the grits, sanding on the sides. And then finally I put on some finish. The finish brings out all your mistakes. So then I went back and did some more sanding in some critical areas. Next I started on the legs. First thing I did was glue up some slabs of oak into the rough shape the legs were going to be. Then I wanted to preserve the mill finish, um, of the steel so I put on some red construction tape that's gonna bite my ass later and then I used two-part epoxy to glue uh, the steel to the legs I then used the router to flush trim the wood to the match the steel and then glued the other side on using the same process of two-part epoxy and then I used uh, the belt sander to blend the both together basically sanding the steel to match uh, the wood. Next up was to break out the welder. I welded a four inch square tube in between each leg and a half inch piece on top to 
tabletop wasn't perfectly flat it kind of cupped so this would allow me to pull it flat and it ended up working perfectly before I could put it all together I needed to get the red construction tape off this is something I thought would take like oh, five minutes no big deal yeah four hours later I was still at it I had to get my kids to help me ultimately I used WD-40 acetone paint stripper to eat away the plastic it did not come off at all easy don't ever use red construction tape if you try this um, but after a lot of work, I got it all off and then I would just wax the steel to prevent it from rusting. Next up, I applied some finish to the legs. The wax prevented the finish from sticking to the metal. That worked perfectly. Then I put the legs under it, just make sure everything went back together and wet sanded this, the top, uh, before I put a nice coat of wax on and buffed it out. Next up was to uh, move it inside. First, I want to thank Mike Arset for coming up all the other times and helping me move this around in the building process. My brother-in-law came into town a few days before Christmas, and he agreed to help me carry it in. Here's some beautiful footage of my nine-year-old filming us carrying in the legs. Then we carried in the top. Um, and yeah, here's some pictures of the finished table. I'm really happy with it. Um, I think it turned out really great. Now the big glaring problem is I need some chairs. So time to go back to the woods, cut some more wood, wait five more years for it to dry, and build myself some chairs. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you find this useful. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you want to see more videos of me making just random stuff. Thanks.